Screening and preventative tests free with Momentum Health. The average adult picks up one to three colds each season that typically last three or four days. If you get more, your immunity might be low, but there's plenty you can do to increase the effectiveness of your immune system. Tandy is concerned that she gets one or two uh, colds too often. So a couple of questions I want to ask Tandy just to make sure her immune system is functioning normally. Do you exercise regularly? I do. I try to exercise at least uh, three times a week. Wow, okay. I jog regularly and when I can, I hike go up the mountain, do something. Well, that's great. So you're not only exercising, but you're exercising outdoor, which you yes. see is very, very important. We're not sure why exercise boosts immunity, but we know it does. In fact, in one study, people who were physically active had 33% fewer sick days, and when they did get sick, their symptoms were a lot less severe. So that's good news. That said, though, it is possible to sweat yourself sick. Heavy, long-term exercise, such as marathon running, can actually knock your immune system. It decreases the amount of white blood cells circulating through your body. In fact, they say uh, for three days, Days after some intense exercise, your immune system is actually suppressed, which is why so often marathon runners are going to get colds after a marathon. Fascinating. So exercise is like medication. In the correct dose, it can be beneficial, but in excess, it can be harmful. But that you're exercising, great. And you spend time outdoors regularly. That's another important fact, hey? Yes, I do. I, I love the fresh air, like, um compared to being in a gym. Great, we cut from the same cloth, Tandy, which is lovely. Because new research suggests that vitamin D could boost your, boost your immune response and too low levels may be linked with uh, seasonal colds and flu. Many of us are deficient in vitamin D, which we can get from the sun and very few foods. What about sleep? Do you get enough sleep? I try to, ah. I try to, but I must admit, like, I'm always doing weird things at night, like things that I should not be weird doing. Weird things at night? Like, okay. <laughs> like, you know, watching TV, watching the odd program and reading, doing odd things when I should actually be going to bed. Okay. So all of that makes me go sleep late. Okay, but the issue there is not sleeping enough. Uh, we need seven to eight hours. In fact, there was a study that showed if you sleep four hours out of the usual seven, your immune system is suppressed by about 50%. So it really, a lack of sleep really knocks your immune system. So what about stress? Big question. You exposed to a lot of stress at work? Um, yes. Um, you could say when things need to be done, when you're on a deadline, when you have limited time, it does cause you a bit of stress. But I try to manage it, you know, by doing first things first, by trying to manage my time, you know, because stress really affects me. And I find that when I'm stressful, like I take it on myself. I like physically, I eat stuff which I should not be eating just to take away the stress. Yeah, I think we all do. In fact, you know, the, the weird stuff you talk about, a lot of us all watch TV, a lot of us all experience stress, so you're not alone. And I think it's something that you know well, that the long-term stress that we experience weakens your response and your immune system, and you need to find ways to take the edge off. What about antibiotics? Do you take antibiotics when you get sick? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Because when I'm really, really sick, I go to a doctor and they actually prescribe it. So Ooh. those are the only times I, I kind of take okay, antibiotics. So, so let me tell you a bit about antibiotics. Antibiotics have a place. But to take an antibiotic at the first sign of a sniffle is not a good idea because that affects your immune system. In fact, you, you can get resistant to these drugs over time, causing more serious infections. Researchers, in fact, found that certain patients taking antibiotics had reduced levels of cytokines, the hormone messengers of the immune system, making you more susceptible to infections, colds and flu. So only take antibiotics for bacterial infections and remember to finish the course. All right, so I think cut down on your antibiotics, sleep a little more, manage your stress, and you won't be getting colds as often as you have been getting. All right, Tandy. I think, and that's not just a lesson for Tandy, that's a lesson for everybody. So in a nutshell, if you think your immunity is low, then make a point of exercising, preferably outdoors, sleeping enough, avoiding excessive stress, and using antibiotics only when they're indicated. Doctors, I hope you're listening to that. Of course, a healthy diet's gonna give you all the nutrients you need for your immune system to function most effectively, so don't forget that. Momentum Health, always moving in the right direction.